I was afraid that all my memories were lost in time. But now I remember, and I can tell you how it all began. It was a beautiful summer, and the year was 1978. We were headed to the coast to enjoy the great outdoors. My boyfriend Mark, my best friend Connie, and me. There was a moment when I thought the world was perfect, and nothing could make me happier. Mark had proposed to me beneath the redwoods. My joy was suddenly shattered by Connie's scream. Mark and I raced back to camp when I saw him. The only thing I wanted to know was... What happened here? I'll hold this while you make sure that Connie's okay. What happened to her? I don't know. Lucky for us, I think she's only knocked out. She's hurt. I need a bandage and some water. Check the bus. Here, take the keys. Oh man, the door's jammed again. After Connie got injured, we decided to take her to Eureka when that monstrous raven attacked us. Surely I would have been caught. But then, all of a sudden, I lost ground and started falling down. I thought it was over. But it wasn't. When I woke up, it was almost pitch black. I didn't know where I was, and what troubled me more was that I didn't know what had happened to Mark and Connie. man, but wait, what's there in his hand?
What is this place? A flooded burial chamber in the middle of a redwood forest? Having no other option, I continued forward through the dungeons. Finally, I managed to reach some larger chamber with visible daylight. It's Connie, tied and imprisoned. What psychopath is behind all this? And where is Mark? Connie. Who did this to you? Where is Mark? The man, he kept us in some chapel. What chapel? The Blood Tree Raven. Connie? Connie! I finally managed to reach the surface, next to Whitmarsh's mansion. Closer to danger, the farther from harm. However, it was that giant tree that first caught my attention, and not without reason. I saw him there, Whitmarsh. It was clear he was the one pulling the strings here. The monstrous raven was only his servant, but he wasn't the one that was really drawing my attention. It was Mark, unconscious, but alive. Whitmarsh took him to a chamber under the tree. I had to hurry. A magical sign locks the door? What is this? Dracula's mansion?
My fiancé was nearby, but so was the raven and its master. My only hope was to find and free him.
This man is deadly serious. He had planned it all. I must stop him. What is he doing? Preparing some kind of magic ritual? Summoning? If I revert the ritual, perhaps I can command the raven to leave.
Someone is going to great lengths to find the priest. Why?
If I'd had more time, maybe I could have found another way. But reversing the magic trick was all I could think of. Panic-stricken, the monster rushed at me, but the trick worked. The monster was gone, even if just for a few minutes. It was enough to draw its master's attention and lure him out of the pit. This was my only chance to get to the chamber before that evil man did. He's gone. It's time to set my friends free. I was in, and they were all there and breathing. I had to get Mark out as fast as possible. Mark, Mark, wake up. I feel weak. It, this tree... Stay with me, just a couple of seconds more.
I was so close. At that moment, I felt nothing could stop me. If only I'd been right. Defenseless little mortal. Did you really think you could escape? Please don't kill us. Kill you? <laughs> no. I have a better use for you. That was the last time I saw Mark. Other than in the shards of my disjointed memory. But now, I'm finally free. Thank you. Let me ask you one more question. You mentioned documents found in Whitmarsh's estate. They allege that when the last Reaper remains, there will be one last quest to complete before Asmodeus is reborn. Yes, that's right. That means we still have time. The game's not over yet. I think we should join forces, don't you, Detective? Yes, I do, partner. <laughs>